Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be virtualizing Linux Fedora on an M1 Mac, which is the ARM64 version of it. So we're just going to drag it into the ACVM QEMU launcher and we're going to press start. Let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the screen resolution to 1024 by 768. Then now we're going to boot it. So it's starting up. The startup time is actually pretty fast. And we're now at the login screen, so we can log in. Tells you your last login. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the terminal. And we're going to type in uname A. So this is our current terminal result. So it's uh, Linux version 5.8.15 301 ARM64. Now if we type in lscpu, it will provide us details about the virtualized CPU, such as it's 64-bit Little Edian, and a lot of more detailed stuff. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the internet browser Firefox. And we have our main Star Fedora website. And we're going to go into a news article. And when we scroll down, you, I'm going to be using my mouse. It's actually pretty smooth for a virtual machine. For the record, this version of QEMU actually uses the built-in Big Sur and one hypervisor known as virtualization point framework. Next up, we have a video over here and we're gonna see if it's actually playable. So we're just playing it now. It's supposed to be 60 frames per, per second, but it's obviously I think it's between 25 to 30, which is actually pretty impressive for a virtual machine. So you can see the movement is a bit laggy, but it's good enough, I'd say, in my opinion. It's not the best, but it will do. So that's enough of internet browsing. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to show applications. If we click on boxes, we have state-of-the-art virtualization. Imagine in the VM, except the problem is all these downloads are for the x86-64 platform, which means it would actually be emulated or it wouldn't work at all. Now if we click on activities, we can actually switch between applications. So we can go back to the desktop, we can change the background and we're going to be changing it to the snow. Nice. Next, we're going to be opening up LibreOffice, which I believe is an alternative to Microsoft Office. And we're going to just quickly type in a sentence. This is a test of the M1 Mac virtualizing Linux Fedora on ARM64 and we can copy and paste that and yeah that's it for live office writer we can go into some utilities we have our system monitor and let's look at some of the resources so over here we can determine how much CPU usage is taking place it's supposed to be only a single core And we have our file systems over here. So I'm going to open up Firefox again and we're going to open up another YouTube video and then we're going to look at the CPU usage while it happens. So as you can see we have our video up. Now with the video the network history is sending over here and receiving over here. 
Now it looks like the CPUs are actually performing really well. It's mostly around the 20, 15 to 20% average, I guess. With one video running in the background. But if we have two videos open in the background, we have an ad. Looks like it's moving around to a 20 to 25 average. So you can see that spike over here. Now I tried to get Geekbench to work, but unfortunately not in this case. But there's always another time. So that's enough of system monitoring. I just closed the Firefox tabs and CPU usage has gone down significantly as expected. The next thing that we're going to be taking a look at is the software store. So if we click on software, we have our editors picks such as the document scanner, GNU cache, notes, recommended audio and video applications such as Audacity. And if we click on productivity, we have a lot of different apps such as HomeBank, TextMaker, FocusWriter, Contacts Calendar. Some of them are already installed with the tick on the top. And yeah. If we click on um, clocks, we have our timer that we can set. We have a stopwatch, which if we click on it, it starts counting, obviously. We, are, we can set an alarm. And we can also look at world clocks. If we add Sydney, Australian Eastern Standard Time, we have this clock over here. Although the current system clock is somewhere else. So the last thing that we're going to be taking a look at is the calculator. So if we go into activities, and utilities, we have the calculator app, and we have five different options. We have the basic mode for simple maths. We have the advanced mode for calculations including trigonometry, algebra, pi, statistics. Financial mode, if you want to do like currency conversions, so such as 22 Australian dollars converted to 13.5 euros. We have programming mode and we have keyboard mode. For example, with keyboard mode, we're going to convert um, one gigabyte to a thousand megabytes. Although I'm pretty sure it should be 1024. But yeah. So that was virtualizing Fedora Linux on an M1 Mac. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.